Earlier this year, the Arena Commander feature team was created to update and improve the dogfighting module in Star Citizen. The team has been working on bringing the module up to date with today's advances and restoring some of its original features and technology. The upcoming Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 update will include the first parts of these efforts, making it the biggest update to Arena Commander since its introduction. For those that are new, Arena Commander is described as a game within a game, allowing players to engage in short, fun gameplay sessions without the repercussions they experience in the persistent universe of Star Citizen. This is vital for the majority of the player base as most of them have limited time. It serves as a testing grounds for features that will soon be added to the PU as well as a place for players to practice flight controls, racing, dogfighting and FPS combat. The development of the team was focused on improving the front end of the Arena Commander, consolidating multiple screens into one place and enhancing the player experience. They've also merged Star Marine and Arena Commander into a single interface, allowing the player to access any FPS and dogfighting gameplay easily. The new lobby system has been completely refactored to provide a faster and more reliable experience, making it easier to form a group and invite friends to join. Before we move forward, I'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of June. This time, it's the Mirai Furry Standing Alone Shift. In order to participate, all you gotta do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of June. Let's move on. The Arena Commander update for 3.20 introduces a new spawn screen that allows players to change their ship loadouts in-game. This is huge. Multi-crewing in Arena Commander was a feature I personally wanted in Star Citizen for a long time and I'm very excited to finally experience it. Players cannot join their friend's ship in free flight, swarm modes, and squadron battles, spawning directly into the turret of the selected ship. In the future, we can expect engineering gameplay and combined armor operations as well. Believe me, this will be epic once we get it. The spawn screens also serve as a way for players to familiarize themselves with the battlefield and make informed decisions before starting combat. Regarding map, the New Horizon Spaceway has been moved to the planet green in the LS system offering a fully fledged planet dedicated to Arena Commander. The Speedway features four tracks, Record Memorial Raceway, Old Van der Waal, Deferred Link, and Holloran Circuit. Each track has been modified and improved with new elements and challenges introduced. Additionally, several PU racing and dogfighting maps have been added to Arena Commander, providing players with various options for practice and enjoyment. Overall, the update aims to enhance the gameplay experience in Arena Commander by improving the user interface, implementing multi-crew functionality, introducing new and revamped maps for racing and dogfighting. This year seems to be a year of gameplay content. Since the implementation of Star Citizen Alpha 3.18, we've seen huge gameplay updates on current and new gameplay mechanics in the PU with mining, salvaging, and trading. And now in 3.20, we're getting this long-awaited Arena Commander update. I'm excited to see what else we'll get this year in addition to the engineering gameplay. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for 3.20? I'll see you on the next video.